Welcome to Japan Booze Blind. We are at the Nippon Craft Beer Festival in Asakusa, uh, 2010. Tons of people here, as you can see. It's pandemonium. We've been here for about three hours, and we've got another three hours to go. We're going to walk around and talk to some people about the craft beer scene in Japan, where it's going, uh, what people are into right now. Uh, join me for the ride. It's going to be fun. One of the great things about this beer festival is that there are a lot of new labels here today. And uh, it's one of the important things that we've heard so far is that it's important to promote this. And one person who is really working hard to promote craft beer in Japan is none other than Rai Bevel, who publishes the Japan Beer Times, which you can get at really any good craft beer bar in town. Yep, craft beer bars, uh, breweries, and actually we've started sending them out to hotels, music festivals. We're trying to get a lot of crossovers, you know, get people who might be interested in craft but just haven't discovered it yet. So, you know, our next big push is outside the craft beer industry into just general beer drinkers to try to bring them over to the, to the, the light side. To the light side, yes, that's right. Bad beer is the enemy, as you can see on, on Rai's shirt. This is their basically the story yeah this is our catchphrase this is this is the story of craft beer i think i mean bad beer is the enemy if it's bad beer it hurts everyone uh, especially in japan where there's a burgeoning craft beer industry because people drink craft beer who are new to it and if it's bad they think well craft beer it's just it's watered down uh just like a soft drink and so you know what we're saying is like if you're going to make craft beer make it good and you know a rising tide lifts all ships we want everyone's craft beer to be good so that people don't get the wrong impression about it now one of the important things that we've heard so far is reaching out to younger generations uh, you do you do a lot of that with mixing events and 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 you've got a uh, you've got an event coming up don't you right uh, November 21st in uh, Yokohama at thumbs up we're doing something called Dacham beer with a band called Dachambo it's a Grateful Dead Fish Almond Brothers jam style band they travel around the country. They're actually famous on the U.S. West Coast. Um, and I went to them and said, you know, why don't we introduce your fans to some really good craft beer and we'll introduce craft beer fans to your music and it'll be a great fit because they're like, they're like craft breweries. They don't have a, a big management team, a record label. They're, all, they're kind of working independently. They're about quality, not quantity. And so it's a good fit and we're going to do it 21st of November. Where can people go to get some more information about that uh, music and beer event? Well, obviously our website, uh, japanbeertimes.com, and uh, if you go to Thumbs Up or if you, uh, you, know, you Google Thumbs Up Yokohama, there's information in Japanese. Um, but we're going to be posting information on our website very, very soon about that beer event. People can follow you on Twitter, too. Where are you? Uh, we're at Japan Beer Times on Twitter. Um, you know, it's, it's like most other Twitter. It's just some, some babbling here and there. But, you know, we do occasionally put some information out there. And what do you what do you think that uh, we've been asking everybody this question over the next couple of years? Um, what's going to be the key for really moving moving this this really amazing beer that we we've seen a lot of today into the into the public sp sphere, really, for lack of a better term? But you can't buy it in in supermarkets yet. Yeah, you can't yet. I mean, you you can get Yona Yona, you can get Ginga, Hita occasionally Hitachi, no, but. I think what's going to happen is that you're going to have to raise publish, public consciousness about craft beer. You need more people to know about it so that they're demanding it from their bars, from their retailers. And in fact, in, where I live in Yokohama, I go up to people. I go up to retailers and say, hey, can you get this craft beer in? And they've been able to do it. We have converted several uh, bars over to craft beer, uh, charcoal grill and bar green was just a charcoal grill. Now they put in all kinds of craft beer. and so. You know, a lot of it's up to the consumer to demand it of restaurants, of retailers. And as the demand grows, then, you know, it's just going to explode. And so what we're trying to do through the magazine is cultivate uh, a craft beer scene, raise people's consciousness about craft beer. Uh, Rye Bevel, uh, Japan Beer Times, doing a hell of a job. Everybody's Pied Piper on this one. Thank you very much for your work so far.